Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I've got an awesome drag race for you today. I'm sat in the BMW M8 competition. Over the far side is the new Porsche 911 Turbo S. And next to me, looks like something from the Fast and the Furious. Let's call Yanni on a wet day with a very different car. Yeah, so what exactly is it? It looks like a GTR. Well, it was one once, but it's been seriously modified. Tell me about it. So firstly, I feel like you today, I'm driving someone else's car. Uh, this car belongs to Nico. From Yanomise. It's a GTR Liberty Walk, 660 brake horsepower. It's on semi-slicks. So I'm just putting that out there now because it is wet. So if I go on the grass or into one of your cars, sorry. Have you ever launched that car before? It's the first day I've driven it and I drove it here. So I haven't even accelerated fast. I haven't tried launch. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, I hope you're wearing your rubber underpants because I think it might get a little bit scary. But you chose to bring it. And power-wise, I think you've barely matched that Porsche. It's got a 3.8 litre, flat six, 650 horsepower, 800 newton metres of torque. It's got eight-speed automatic gearbox, dual clutches, launch control. That thing is well rapid. It's going to be interesting to see what your GTR does against it. Just like the Porsche, the GTR has a 3.8 litre twin turbo engine, though it's a V6 rather than a flat six. That Porsche is the lightest though, it's like 16.50 kilos, yours is 1750. How much torque has your car got, Yanni? No idea. A lot of torque, because I'm in the driver's seat. Obviously, it's got 830 newton metres of torque. I've actually got the least powerful car for once. This has only got 625 horsepower from its 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. Oh, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. It's got 750 newton metres of torque and it's the heaviest. It's 1950 kilos. Talking about heavy, have you been coping in lockdown? Have you um, managed to stay your weight? I knew you lost a bit of weight, didn't you? Because you're training hard. I put on weight. Fat shamers, bring it. Not a problem. I'll always lose my weight. Matt, you're looking very old. That's just want to put it out there. Remember, I can lose my weight, as you've seen. I lose weight, I put it on, I lose weight, I put it on. Matt just gets older and older and older. Well, if you've got semi-slicks, mate, and you hit some standing water, you may not get any older from today. <laughs> You'll probably be behind me. It'll happen behind me. Anyway, let's do a quick sound check. So, BMW M8 competition. Got a soft limiter. Uh, modern noise regulations and stuff are just killing the sound of cars. Let's have a listen to the Porsche. Sounds like he's got a soft limiter as well. What do you guys think of soft limiters? Let me know in the comments below. Finally then, Yanni. You didn't even let me finish what I'm saying. I think you won that one. Let's get on with it. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. For once in my life, I'm nervous because I'm not in my own car and I've never launched it and I've got no idea what it's going to do. Raise up your air ride first, otherwise you'll scratch all the bottom of the car and... Poor Nico, we'll have to get that fixed. Well, do you know what? I'd struggle to go up then. I think it's because of all that... Extra weight you put on over lockdown. Such a <laughs> Let's just get on with the race anyway. Buying a new car? Head to CarWow to get offers from the UK's top dealers. CarWow.co.uk, the car buying comparison site. Please stick on the road. Just beat Matt. Let the Porsche go. We know what it is. Beat Matt, beat Matt, beat Matt, beat Matt, beat Matt. Just beat Matt. Let the Porsche go. Just beat Matt. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm going sideways. Come on, go! Oh. <laughs> struggled as well, said Yanni. <laughs> Yanni got off good, actually. Had the better start, but nothing, though. It's over for him. I think you got off the line the best. I was going like side to side a little bit, but you launched well and then even though your number plate says boost pound, it kind of fell apart. What happened? I actually don't know. I definitely got the better start. I think we need to do it again. I don't think we do. I think that's fine. Let's just move on. But I've never done launching this before. I'm, well, I'm actually tempted to do it without launch, is the honest truth. Dry your eyes. Um, I can see Matt pulling faces. <laughs> Bosh, you were like the worst launch, weren't you? I thought these things were supposed to be rocket ships, so I was definitely slowest off the line. 
It got all squirrely in second gear, but then, you know what these things are like, it just ripped ahead. The thing with the BMW system, you have to have the stability control off to launch it. You go in the port, so you want to have someone facing it. I was just like all over the place. I was worried about him crashing into me, but before I was going to crash into me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Just for you, Yanni, I will do it again. We have a little status update, ladies and gentlemen. So I made a couple of phone calls. So everyone told me all the buttons should be pointing up. However, no, because it's still leaving my traction on. That's why I couldn't get away. So the far left one is up, the transmission, but the far right one should be down, which takes my traction totally off. So hopefully now it should be better, but no idea. Hopefully now, I thought you were going to say, I'm going to win, but then you thought better of it, didn't you? You're still going to lose. Come on, BM. Come on, reaction time. Three, two, one. Oh, he got a better start than me then. Come on! Oh, no! That's what I'm talking about! Fucks! Come on! This really struggled! Thank you! Finally, redeem myself. Redeem myself for Nico as well, because I felt so bad, I was fuming. You're not really fine. But I knew something wasn't right, because the traction kept kicking in. I cocked my launch then, though. That's the only problem. Mate, I'll do it again if you want, to be fair. I don't mind. Just give me one more go, very quickly, guys. Do you know what? I'm going to go on this side of the track just for a change of scenery. It's a Porsche Bay 1, me Bay 2. <laughs> Bay, like I'm at work. Just go to the middle again. <laughs> I call it Bay 2. <laughs> come on, come on! I've got no excuses this time. Track is the driest part of the track. Oh, we're neck and neck, come on. Come on. Not having the traction on, it's a real nightmare on this. Yes. Oh, and it just cocked itself. Porsche has gone. This is quick. If it was dry, I'd be fine. If it was dry, I'll be fine. Oh, really? One eternity later. Now, I know how you all hate drag races in the wet, but we had to run those races because of time constraints and stuff like that. Fortunately, it's now dry. Jan, you're up for another drag race, but this time in the dry. I've been here for about four hours waiting for it to stop raining, so I think I'm ready, finally. I've got a feeling I'm going to beat you now. Let's see. Is there any point in the Porsche being here? Shouldn't it just be you and me? We might as well just have it there as a reference point. Very muff, very muff. Did he just say what I thought he said? Three, two, one. Oh, we had a good start there. Come on. Oh, it's so close between us. Come on. Come on, BMW. Oh, it's so close. Come on! Come on, no! Come on, please! I'm taking him now. Oh, my God! Whoa! So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche completed the standing quarter mile in 10.2 seconds. The BMW took 10.8 seconds, and the Nissan did the quarter mile in 10.9 seconds. OK, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in their comfiest setting, which in the BMW means I'm in efficient mode for the engine. Anyway, here we go. You ready? Get level with me. Level. Here we go. Three, two, one. Floor it. Kick down. Come on. Come on. Bye bye, Yanni. I'm beating you in my BMW. Bye bye. Oh, end of runway. End of runway. 
Right, now we're gonna have a rolling race. This time, the car's in their sportiest setting, locked in third gear. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so close, I'm gonna come past him now. Oh, he's so close. Gonna have him now. Bye-bye. Yay! Whoa! It was like almost the other way around to what I expected. Do you know the funniest thing about all of this? When we talked about the Porsche, it's like it's not even here because it's just winning everything. It's a foregone conclusion. How was the Porsche in that race then, Porsche guy? It actually didn't pick up as fast as I thought it would, so I got to look at the side of Yanni Liberty Walk body kit for a little while, but after a couple of seconds, all I could see was the front in my rear view mirror. Now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the cone, full emergency stop. He's got some sweet rated brakes on that and he's got semi-slick, so he should have a good chance at this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Blimey, that thing's gonna have stop. Poor. Oh my God, Yanni, your car stopped like it hit a wall. It's ridiculous. I told you, I just stopped, it's amazing. Two one to me, and I won the drag race, which is the one that counts. You didn't win the drag race. The Porsche won everything apart from the brake test. What race have you been involved in? What Porsche? It was GTR against the BMW. I, th I didn't see no Porsche. <laughs> that big red thing to your right. He ignored it when it's convenient. Anyway, so the BMW didn't win anything. It didn't get beaten too badly in the brake test by the Porsche. I mean, I thought the Porsche was going to stop in the shortest distance, but yeah, Godzilla won that. Surprise, really. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know if some other drag races you'd like to see in the comments below. Now, we've got a great deal on a BMW M8 on CarWow. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see what it is. Yanni's had enough. He's going home already. And, of course, follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Oh, I almost forgot. Please check out our merch. It's in the carousel below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Got it. It just... Pants, bugger, and arse. <laughs>